Welcome to my life as I live it. I'm Army Princess, the mother, wife, and soldier, and I want to share this journey with you. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe now so you don't miss a moment of it. Hello, 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 and welcome back. It's Army Princess here, and today I am going to give you three steps to a basic eyeshadow look. I've been getting a lot of questions on my Facebook. Um, I have a Facebook and a Facebook group, and the ladies want to know how to apply basic eyeshadow. And you know me, I don't consider myself a beauty guru, but I don't consider myself somebody that just you know, can do the basics. I'm somewhere in between, but I assume that everybody else at least knows the basics. So, realizing that, I wanted to put all of that information into a nice little tutorial for you all so you can learn how to do the basics of eyeshadow. It's really, really easy. I think I only used, literally, I only used three eyeshadows today to get this look. I didn't even do eyeliner, and y'all know I love my eyeliner. So, I'm going to show you what I used when I say this is horrible, y'all, this is horrible. I have to put the top back on because the top is broke. I literally got this little eyeshadow kit. Let me put it together. I got this eyeshadow kit at H&M in the line. Like, you know how you go into the line and they have all that stuff like in Forever 21 in the line when as you're waiting. It's the Smoky Palette. It literally has no words left on it. It The top of it is broken but this doggone palette right here is I would say this is the best palette for beginners so if you can find it at your local H&M go ahead and get it they may have something similar you know at the drugstore wet n wild um, NYX has eyeshadow palettes um, but I like it because it has this this brow bone shade I call it brow bone shade I love it for my brow bone and then it has this matte brown shade so you're definitely going to need a lighter shade. Lighter shades are universally flattering for everybody, every skin tone on the lid. And then a darker shade for the crease or the outer V. And then a transition color, which my favorite transition color is this MAC. And this is Brown Script by MAC. So this is what I've used. These three colors. I put the, this in my transition color and then I use these two shades. So that is it guys, I am going to show you what I do. As you can see, we started out with one eye already finished, but the first step is to start by applying concealer. What this does is let all of the colors pop, as well as start out with a blank mute canvas. The concealer that I'm using is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, but you can definitely use any concealer of your choice. Normally when I apply concealer, I blend it out with a damp blending brush that I'm using now, but you can use your fingers as well, whatever is easiest for you. Usually using your finger, fingers will help warm up the product and it can also help it blend in a little more easily and seamlessly. After applying concealer, you wanna make sure you go in with a skin tone powder just to set your eyelid. If you do not, then it could be very sticky and it can make your eyeshadows look blotchy when you apply them. Okay, when you think about having good eye makeup, you think about blending and having good blending brushes, which is very important. What's also important is how you hold the brush. You want to make sure you hold it farther away from the bristles. It gives you less control, but it also applies less powder and it gives you more of a seamless blended look. The first step in a nice eyeshadow look is applying the transition color. This is my favorite transition color here from MAC. It's in the color Brown Script. You want to make sure you apply that transition color right in the crease of the eye. Not too close to the lid and not too close to the brow bone. You're holding the brush away from the bristles and you're using windshield wiper motions to get a smooth, flawless look. Your next step is going to be to add the lid color. 
You want to keep the lid in the inner corner of your eye bright. This is universally, universally flattering for everyone and it just makes a nice completed look at the end. One of the last steps is to darken up the outer V or outer crease area. I'm taking a small fluffy blending brush and I'm going to use a matte brown shade just to go into the outer crease of my eyelid and form a V. As you can see here, I'm making a small sideways V. This is where you want to focus your dark shade. At the end of the look, your eye colors should be seamless. Your transition color as well as your lid color should blend in seamlessly with the outer V. You want to make sure you spend time blending this look so that you cannot see one shade from the next. Your last and final step to complete the look is to highlight the brow bone area. This is one of my favorite steps. It helps to give you a more lifted and brighter eye overall. I chose to complete this look by applying eyelashes. You definitely don't have to, you can just use mascara and that can be your last step in your completed look. For this eyeshadow look i hope it was easy for you i hope that these steps will help you moving forward in the future to do a basic eyeshadow look and stay tuned because i am also going to do a from day to night eyeshadow look for beginners the basics for beginners so make sure you all stay tuned if you can do me a favor and leave a comment in the comment section below and let me know if these steps helped you if you like tutorials like this and what other eye looks you want me to see and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.